Ever wondered how small we are in the grand scheme of the universe? A question that has mystified humans for ages, leading us to explore the vast expanses of space and the infinitesimal particles that make up our world. Today we take you on an awe-inspiring journey, a journey that spans the scale of the universe from the smallest known particle to the largest known galaxy. Understanding the scale of the universe is crucial. It provides perspective, allowing us to appreciate the magnificence of the cosmos and our place within it. It's like we're exploring a cosmic Russian nesting doll, each layer revealing a world larger or smaller than the last. From the minuscule quarks that form the building blocks of matter, to the gargantuan galaxies that stretch across the cosmos, each has its unique place in the cosmic scale. So, buckle up, as we embark on this cosmic journey, starting at a scale almost unimaginably small. Imagine a world so small it's invisible to the naked eye. In this realm we are not dealing with the usual objects we encounter in our daily lives but rather, with the building blocks of matter itself, subatomic particles. These are the tiny entities that make up everything around us, from the screen you're looking at now to the farthest galaxies we can observe. Let's begin with quarks. Quarks are some of the smallest particles known to us, so minute that their size is beyond our current ability to measure. They are like the tiniest grains of sand on a colossal beach that is the universe. But don't let their size fool you. Quarks are integral to the structure of matter. They combine in sets of three to form protons and neutrons, the components of an atom's nucleus. Then we have electrons, slightly larger than quarks, but still incredibly small. Picture a grain of rice in a colossal stadium. That's roughly the proportion of an electron to an atom. Yet, these electrons orbiting the nucleus determine the atom's chemical properties and its ability to form bonds with other atoms. Now, let's talk about neutrinos. These elusive particles are like the ghosts of the subatomic world. They are so lightweight and weakly interacting that billions of them pass through you every second without you noticing. Neutrinos are born in the heart of stars, in supernova explosions, and even in the Big Bang itself. These subatomic particles, quarks, electrons and neutrinos, though minuscule, play an enormous role in the universe. They are the building blocks of atoms, which in turn form molecules, cells, organisms, planets, stars and galaxies. They are the foundation on which the universe is built, the starting point of everything that exists. So next time you look at the night sky, remember this. Every star, every planet, every galaxy you see, is made up of these tiny, invisible particles. Though tiny, these particles form the foundation of everything we know. From the subatomic world, we ascend to the human scale. Let's pause for a moment and consider our place in this vast universe. We find ourselves somewhere in the middle, bridging the gap between the infinitesimally small and the unimaginably large. Atoms and molecules, those tiny particles we discussed earlier, they come together in an intricate dance to form cells. These cells in turn assemble to construct organisms like us. But how do we measure up to the universe? Imagine, if you will, a grain of sand. Insignificant and tiny, yet, if you look closely you'll find it's made up of countless atoms. Now imagine that this grain of sand represents the entirety of humanity. This might give you an idea of our relative size, but let's take it a step further. Picture a vast desert, stretching as far as the eye can see, each grain of sand representing a galaxy. Each of these grains, a massive conglomeration of stars, planets, and other celestial bodies, is as vast to us as we are to our atomic constituents. Yet the desert is but a fraction of the universe. The cosmos is more like an endless beach with each grain of sand a galaxy, each fleck of dust a star, each atom a planet. And us? We're somewhere in the middle, a unique blend of these cosmic ingredients, straddling the line between the micro and the macro. We are both incredibly small and incredibly large depending on your perspective. We are made of atoms, yet we contain multitudes. We are in essence a microcosm of the universe itself. Yet despite our complexity and our grandeur, we must remember our place. We are but one species on one planet in one galaxy among billions. We are a unique blend of cosmic dust yet just a speck in the vast cosmos. Now let's venture beyond our world and explore the realm of galaxies. Galaxies are like cosmic cities of stars, each one teeming with billions, even trillions of these celestial bodies. They're bound together by the invisible threads of gravity, forming a dazzling metropolis of light and energy in the vast expanse of the universe. Astronomers estimate that there are around 2 trillion galaxies out there, each one a unique and complex system, some smaller than ours, others far larger. 
Our very own galaxy, the Milky Way, is a sprawling spiral galaxy that houses somewhere in the ballpark of 200 billion stars, give or take. It's about 100,000 light years across, which means that even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us 100,000 years to journey from one end to the other. But here's the kicker. The Milky Way is just one of countless galaxies in the universe. It's part of a local group of about 54 galaxies, and this group is just a tiny speck in a much larger cosmic neighborhood known as the Virgo Supercluster. And the Virgo Supercluster? It's just one of millions of superclusters in the observable universe. So when we gaze up at the night sky, we're not just looking at stars, we're looking at galaxies, each one a kaleidoscope of stars, gas, and dust. Each galaxy is a testament to the universe's size and complexity, a reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Yet despite our smallness, we've managed to peek into the universe's vast expanse to understand and appreciate its beauty. We've discovered galaxies far beyond our own, observed their formation and evolution, and in doing so, we've come to realize just how interconnected everything is, from the tiniest quark to the largest galaxy. Galaxies, each a cosmic city, make up a universe of unimaginable scale. Galaxies are but the stepping stones to the grandeur of the universe. Let's step back for a moment and consider the mind-boggling enormity of the universe. It's not just about the galaxies we've explored, but it's the vast expanses that stretch beyond our current understanding. We speak of distances in light years, the distance that light, the fastest thing we know, travels in a year. Even at that speed, it takes light over 2 million years to reach us from our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda. But the universe is not just about distance, it's also about time. When we look at distant galaxies, we're seeing them as they were billions of years ago. We're essentially looking back in time. This is the concept of the observable universe. We can only see as far as light has had time to travel since the universe began, about 13.8 billion years ago. Now let's imagine the universe as an ever-expanding balloon. The galaxies are like dots on the surface of this balloon. As the balloon inflates, the dots move further apart. This is a simplified way of understanding cosmic expansion. The universe isn't expanding into something, it's just that the space between everything is increasing. The universe's scale is simply unfathomable. Its vastness is beyond the comprehension of the human mind. We are but a tiny speck in the grand cosmic scheme of things, but there's something profoundly humbling about this realization. It underscores our insignificance on a cosmic level, yet it also highlights our unique existence. We've come a long way in our understanding of the universe, but there's still so much to discover. We're on a never-ending journey of exploration, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, driven by our innate curiosity and desire to understand our place in the cosmos. The universe, in its grandiosity, makes us marvel at our own insignificance and yet, our unique existence.